Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a butterfly vase. I come over on the left hand side in the center and I put a dot, two fingers, come over on the right hand side, two fingers again, and put another dot. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a slightly curved line over to the right. Come back to the left, draw a straight line down. Come to the right, draw another straight line down. Now connect the two with another slightly curved line. Connect. Come back to the left right about here and we're going to draw a straight diagonal down. <clears throat> Excuse me, on the left. Come over on the right, we're going to draw a straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the left and draw a slightly curved line over and connect. Okay. We start right here in the center and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I draw a curved line out, curved line out, straight line up, curved line out, curved line out, connect. Let's do that again. Right here on the left hand side I'm going to draw a little one. Put a dot Watch what I do. Curve line out, curve line out, straight line up, curve line out, curve line out, and connect. Come over here on the right hand side. Let's do another little one. Put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line out, curve line out, straight line up, curve line out, curve line out connect. I'm going to come right above right about here and put another dot and we're going to draw a bigger curve line out, curve line out, straight line up, curve line out, curve line out, connect. I'm going to draw one more over here on the right, put a dot, curve line out, curve line out, straight line up, Curve line out, curve line out, connect. And I can fit one more here. Put a dot. Curve line out, curve line out, straight line up, curve line out, curve line out, connect. And let's see. I think that's all. If you can fit more, go for it. Maybe I'll do one more little guy right here. Put a dot, curve line out, curve line out, straight line, curve line out, curve line out, connect. Okay, once you've done all of these drawings, now come right here to this point and draw a curve line, spiral on the, the right, curve line, spiral on the left. Come up to your next shape. Slightly curved line, spiral on the right. Slightly curved line, spiral on the left. Come over to this section, curve line, spiral on the right. Curve line, spiral on the left. Right here in the center, curve line, spiral on the right. Curve line, spiral on the left. Come all the way up, curve line, spiral on the right, curve line, spiral on the left, one more, whoops, two more, curve line, spiral on the right, curve line, spiral on the left, and now this baby, curve line, spiral on the right, curve line, spiral on the left. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to start out and make this pink up here. You're going to color it solid. And I'm going to color this one down here pink 
also. And I'm going to try and use springy colors, but you can use any colors you want. Over here, I picked a red violet, and this is when you hold on to your crayons to see what colors you have that might fit. Down here, I did red orange. I found a weird color. It is wisteria. I have no idea where it came from, but I did this kind of like a light lilac purple. I did that one, that color, and then I came in and I did yellow. Because yellow always brightens up a bouquet of flowers. Same thing for a bouquet of butterflies. So I did those two yellow. Then I came in and I did up, down, up, down. Just to fill in a little bit of color on the top inside part of my vase. And then using two spring colors that I really like. I took my sea green and just did stripes. Straight line, straight line, straight line in color all the way across. And then on the bottom part I did a wavy, wavy line of green. Wavy, wavy all the way down. Now, when you use just lines of color, you're using the color of the paper, which is white, as another element of color. Now I came back with my pink, and in between my green stripes, or my green straight lines, I did a pink line all the way across, and I did the same thing with my wavy lines. So I did a wavy, wavy, wavy line of green. Now, you can make your designs any way you want. Some of you might want to amp up your butterflies with more designs, but this is the simplest and the easiest. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my flower pot filled with butterflies ready for spring, and this would be a great cover for a Mother's Day card. I think I'll put it in my Mother's Day playlist so I don't forget. Okay, bye-bye.